Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to be doing a detailed video on kind of how to brew coffee with the Hamilton Beach Programmable Coffee Maker Front Access Easy Fill, model number 46310. So what makes this coffee maker kind of unique and popular is its front access. So it fits under a kitchen cabinet very well. Here's the filter for the coffee. There's where you can put your coffee grounds so it comes out towards you. And then where you put the water, it's just got this little opening and you put it here, but it funnels it to the back. So the water does eventually make it to the back, but you don't have to fill it in back here. There is a place for a water filter. This is an optional accessory. It does not come with this, but there is the Hamilton Beach water filter that it takes. It's got an overall plastic look. It's got a metal on the front. It's got this little window on the side that you can see how much water you've added in the reservoir. It does have a warming plate that will keep your coffee warm. The craft is pretty standard for a Cuisinart. Be careful. It is really um, thin glass. I have cracked one of these already. It's got a hinged lid. It comes off really easy for cleaning. Uh, the control panel, I do like the display. It's very nice. It's just got a simple on, like a brew now button is right there. And when it's brewing, it's got that light that lights up. It does have brew options. So it has regular, one to four cups, and a bold brew. And then you can program it to come on and, and brew you a pot of coffee in the morning automatically. So it doesn't come with any coffee filters. This is just a brew basket. It's got a plunger in the bottom so that when you take the carafe out, the plunger pops down to, to prevent the coffee from coming out. But when you've got the craft in, it pushes that plunger up. There's these little dots. And when you line up with the arrows, it's, it's relatively easy. And it's got like a little handle here. So you're gonna need filters. You need basket style, eight to 12 cup coffee filter, paper filters. Or you can use a reusable filter. Now it doesn't come with a reusable filter, but you can buy one and put it in there. But you're not supposed to use both. It's either or, either a paper or a reusable. So you put your reusable filter in there like that. Make sure it's kind of hugging the walls. There's what the inside of it looks like. Okay, so this coffee maker, you can brew anywhere from four to 12 cups of coffee it's gonna brew whatever amount of water you put in there when you press the brew button, that's how much water it's going to brew through it. So I'm gonna do a 12 pot cup of coffee. So I'm gonna put 12 tablespoons of coffee grounds in here. If I was only gonna brew eight and just put enough for eight of the water in here, I would put eight tablespoons of coffee grounds in here. And you just use that accordingly, six, six. So let's put 12 tablespoons of coffee grounds in here. One, two, three. Okay, so I've got the coffee grounds in here. It takes just standard coffee ground at a medium grind for like a drip coffee maker. So then we close this. It's got like a little latch. We're gonna open this. We're gonna pour our water in here. Okay, so I've got this filled up to the 12 mark with fresh water. This is why people love it. You can pour the water right here and it directs it right to the back. It's very easy to fill, very easy to access. You'd be surprised how tall some coffee makers are. Some coffee makers are extremely tall when you open their lids. Put your craft down here, close the lid, and just hit the, the brew now button. We're gonna do some temperature checks and we're gonna do a taste test. Okay, so it starts brewing right away. It's a relatively quiet coffee maker. It does get a little noisier towards the end of the brew. We can see the water's going down. So let's do some temperature. So the temperature coming out the bottom is about 180 degrees. I'm going to do another video where I show you how to descale this. So it will say the word clean across here. If your coffee maker says the word clean, that means it's time to, to descale it with vinegar. So it comes with a pretty nice manual. It's got lots of pictures and they do a pretty good job of explaining how to program it, how to set the time, troubleshooting. It's even how to replace the water filter, even though the water filter is an optional accessory. And the permanent filter is an optional accessory. So the manual says the clean notification 
if the unit is plugged in, continue, you know, if you, if you don't unplug it, after 30 cycles, the clean light will scroll across the display. Follow the care and cleaning instructions. So I'll do a separate video on that. But it says if you just simply unplug it, it will, uh, the counter resets. So if you just, if you don't have time to clean it right then, you could just unplug it and plug it back in. Okay, so we're up had just passed the six cup mark and it's been just a little over six minutes. So it's brewing a cup a minute. It does have pause brewing. So if I want to take, if I want to grab a quick uh, cup of coffee, I can pour one. It will, that plunger comes down, but then you got to hurry up. You can't leave it out very long. It does drip a couple drips. That's pretty normal. Again, the coffee maker is really quiet. It's one of the quieter coffee makers, but it does get a little loud towards the end. And I just did a regular brew you can hit the brewer options. We could have done a bold brew. It brews it at the same temperature. It just takes about three extra minutes. So it, it kind of extends the brewing time. It slows the water down as it's coming through there. And the other option is one to four cup. Now, if you press that, that's when you're doing small batches of coffee. It won't just simply run one to four cups through there. If you put 12 cups of water in there, it's gonna still run the whole um, 12 cups of water through there, but if you only put four cups of water in there, it just uh, helps with the brew for a smaller batch. Okay, we're getting towards the end. It's getting a little louder. You're hearing some kind of pops and kind of some hot steam coming out. So we do get quite a bit of steam coming out around. Okay, so it's quieting down. It's done with the brew. Now it's gonna keep that warming plate on. That took about 11, almost 12 minutes to do that full pot of coffee. So if you forget to turn the coffee maker off, after two hours, it automatically turns this light off, which turns the warming plate off automatically. Now there are no beeps to let you know that it's done. It's simply, you, it really quiets down. You can see it's brewed the amount. Okay, so let's pour ourselves a cup of coffee. The craft pour is pretty nice. It's heavy. Let's do a temperature check real quick. Yeah, that's a pretty hot cup of coffee, almost 170. There's what the coffee looks like brewed. I've tasted this this earlier. Um, it makes a really good cup of coffee. So again, the entire the entire time that little light's on, that means that that warming plate is on. Let's see how warm. So yeah, that's. 308, wow, that's a really hot warming plate. 350. So let's open this up. Be careful, there could be some steam. Let's see how, so it did a really good job brewing. That's a very even uh, brew. The uh, water didn't overfill the filter basket. That's really important. And I had 12 tablespoons of coffee in there. So we gave it a good workout. Cleanup is very simple. You're just gonna lift this off. It's not gonna drip too much on you because of that plunger. And you can just take this over to your trash can and dump it out. So let's go over cleanup. This is dishwasher safe top rack. And so is this, this is dishwasher safe. Um, the lid comes off. Be careful, that glass is, is very fragile. I have cracked one of these crafts in. So these are the three parts that are dishwasher safe top rack. So again, after I'm done with the coffee, say I drank all the coffee, I can just come up here and turn, hit that button one more time. That turns that light off, which turns that warming plate off. But if I forget to do that, two hours, that will turn off automatically. Again, here's the brewer option. I've got regular, regular one to four cups and bold. So setting the time can be just a little tricky. You press the time button once, the hours flash, then you've got to scroll through all the hours it does have an AM and a PM light. That's really nice. And you got to let it kind of sit for a minute and then it'll switch over to the minutes and you can do the minutes. Then just let it sit and it finally stops flashing and it memorizes it. So this is a very basic coffee maker, but it's also a very um, reliable and it's a very good coffee maker. I love the front access. That is, that is a really, really nice feature. Thanks everybody for watching.